So in this video, we'll now try to understand to do that Git installation, and then we will do that how to uh, use that Git in our local system. So first thing we will try to install that Git. Okay. So what I will do first, I will go. I will close this. So first thing is that we need to use that command prompt. So I will type that cmd. First thing we'll check that is that git is installed in our system or not so git space hyphen hyphen person so if i do that git is not a recognized internal external command since i have uninstalled in my system so now first thing we we'll try to install so if we do that git download and then if we click on that first link we'll see that git download it here so since i have windows system so i click on that windows so that exe file will start downloading we have to select that which one i need that 64 bit so i will go ahead with 64 bit so it's a started download so once it will download we need to do that installation for this so it's all depend on internet speed how much time it's going to take so it's a plus 47.9 mb file so let's wait for some time once it will download, we'll try to install it. So I will pause this video for some time and then we'll start it again. So now you can see that Git is installed for me. So what I will do, I will just click on this and I can do that right now open that so it will ask first time permission and then it will open this window so just we need to do next and it's by default going to install in c drive program files and git if you wanted to change that folder you can browse it here and change if you need in d drive or some other drive i will go ahead with that default it's saying already exist since i have that i install it but folders still exist so i'll do that and nothing need to do i will go ahead with that default one i will do next all i need to do that next here git using git pass only or git using any command line or third party software so this will be recommended if you use that git pass then only we it will going to work with git pass right now it will work with command prompt also so we will see that how after installation so we'll do next next all will be default whatever they have done that so now we can install it yeah okay here it is noted okay now i finished so if we go and again do that same control with version, so still it's saying it's not recognized. So what I can do, close it and open, and then I will check that git version. So now, last time it since it already loaded, it's not refreshed. Now it's refreshed, so it's showing that git version this one. So it's already installed. So in this video, we'll stop it here. If everyone get installed, then in next video, now we'll try to understand how to use that Git and how it's going to save that different version of our file. Okay, yeah, thank you.